Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The hot news is, well, actually, the hottest news today is that we finished our demo reel for the cooking show. Yes, that's because there's not really much. Well, no, actually, that is really hot news. That's hot news for us, but there's also not that much stuff going on. But it's also hot news for you because that means, okay, we decided to put a demo reel together because people have been asking me, well, we need a demo reel. We want to show it to some people because, you know, we've been. it's been suggested that we go on to... Mainstream media. Mainstream media, the comedy shows, green cooking channels, other things because of what we do. But anyway, I guess news still continues. So we're going to bring all the camera on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> oh my God. Are Republicans willing to destroy the nation um, to get Obama? I know. Th this is a good one. Obama said this this morning that I am so hated by the Republicans because of my support for the middle, for the working class that the Republican Party is willing to destroy the nation to get me. And then even the Democratic pollsters, I love this, one of them said, you know, that the president is starting to sound very paranoid every time he makes a speech anymore. And then another one said, you mean you're just noticing it? Mm -hmm. He has been paranoid for a long time. And what's behind the early outbreak of deadly tornadoes? Uh, it's called we had a mild winter, and a mild winter means that you're going to have a really mean spring, folks. That's how that works. That Mother Nature is really, she doesn't do nice things without making you pay for it. Flip, flip, flop, or flub. Santorum pounces on Romney mistake. Oh, Romney does not have, he, this guy is so out of touch with the regular people. I mean, they said, here's the whole trick. Obama has no clue about what it's like to be an ordinary person. Mitt Romney has no clue of what it's like. And they're preaching to the, you know, to the people that they're trying to get to vote for them. And these guys are elitists, total. You know, if you, okay, you're going to replace uh, Obama with Romney. Romney gave you Obamacare. Romney gave you higher taxes. And Romney uh, goes into, a, goes into a, uh, you know, like a 7-Eleven. And uh, what's this? Mm -hmm. And then he's always called a Slurpee. He said, oh, I'm What's it? What is it? That is Romney. And Santorum says he doesn't believe in separation of church and state. I know that was a stupid thing for him to have said. Period. But the problem was he said it, and he said it like seven years ago in front of a Catholic, a bunch of Catholic uh, uh, laymen. No. Uh, so you talk to the people you're at, but they took it out totally out of context. They took it from a speech that he made years ago and then had been running it. But you know who's been running it? Who? Romney. Ah, and Green Autos will cut the cost of gas. They, this is another one they said the president, he, this was his speech this morning and he came on, you know, well we've got to go green. This will help, re no, it won't reduce the cost of gas, it will resume the cost of gas higher because if you're per forcing people to take uh, vehicles that they don't want, it, that's going to be higher, so the gas is going to go higher because it's nature. But the fact is, when, okay, when can they turn the first mass-produced green car out? Mm -hmm. Oh, about 10 years, because he has no comprehension that it takes 10 years to put a car in cycle, plus the fact that GM, of which he is the chairman of, basically shuttered the vote because no one wants it. Pennsylvania judge, Muslims allowed to attack people for insulting Mohammed. Oh, I know. They're after that federal judge because he basically, uh, he also came out with a statement, well, he didn't understand what the problem was because we have a, we have a Christian Sharia law. No, we don't. I mean, in, in Sharia law says that you can basically do this, can do that. Women are not allowed to have any rights. That's not, that's not in the Christian religion, folks. Only in Obama's religion. And pressure builds for civilian drone flights at home. Yeah, well, and the, the pressure just died because this morning they just whacked out the almost the entire drone budget from the United States military in order to save money. And Gloria Allred accidentally reveals her 380-person press list. You believe that? She's got ah. The people that she sends releases out to, she sent a release to someone with the name of all the people. I, I had it But you know what? We've seen that happen with people before where they don't blind copy and we've got the whole press list. Well, I know. I know exactly how many people are going to a trade show that we're going, getting ready to go to because they sent the whole press list and they give you the number of how many people that are on the press list for the trade show. Like, you know, like 439 members of the press are going to a show with 70,000 people. 
And Tennessee nightclub shooting leaves one dead and 19 injured. Yeah, and uh, you know, it, 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 what happens is, here's the one, guns and alcohol never went together, the same as uh, alcohol and mashes, alcohol and cars, but don't worry, the president of the United States, so therefore you're, you're looking that the alcohol is now going to be on the health care ban thing. Are you serious? Yep. South Korea and U.S. begins major military exercise. Oh, well, yeah, but, uh, uh, but don't worry, the president of the United States has made a deal with the North Koreans to, if they're going to stop threatening South Korea and we're going we're gonna to feed them and we're going to give them economic aid and we're going to build their industries for them. An Aussie PM defends job against colleague she ousted. Oh yeah, because okay, this is a woman who's done nothing but raise taxes and trying to get the country to go green. You know what she ran for government on? Lower no. taxes and getting rid of the green proposals of the other guy. She's basically trumped the other guy and went further and wondering why Australia wants to throw her out. <laughs> and FCC denies dish requests on wireless phones. Yeah. The dish is wanting to go wireless. But you have to remember, um, the other company is on, on, the other company is owned by an Obama supporter. Dish isn't. And Indonesia Zoo giraffe dies with plastic in stomach. Well, you know, because what it is is that people throw things over the walls, and the animals will eat them because they think they're delicious. And Obama joins in a selling Limbaugh slur of student. Okay, first of all, I you know well, okay Limbaugh did not say what they said he said. Mm -hmm. They're trying to miss a misstatement, and it is a very simple question: How does one female run up a tab for three thousand dollars for birth control? Uh huh. It's uh they said the birth control is basically free in most areas, and they said that they 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 did nothing. I heard them do the check. They called pharmacies. The average average cost is about sixteen bucks a month. Mm -hmm. So how does a person what that doesn't cost you more than 16 a month and also get a free run of a $3,000 charge for birth control. It means she basically ran something else into that system. Mm -hmm. And official mistakes led to Afghan current uh, buildings. There were no mistakes made. It was, it was done deliberately. It was done... A uh, Quran. The, the Quran. It was done deliberately. I mean, you figure, one, Obama needed something to cause a problem. My guess is Obama's people tipped the people off that these Qurans were being destroyed and the Qurans were being destroyed because the Qurans had had somebody had written all over the Qurans and therefore they desecrated the books and you had to destroy the flag, you had to destroy them in a proper manner which they were being destroyed in and Obama then made it look like there was a, something worse like it was being done by the military you know that wasn't the way it was but Obama went out of his way to make certain that the Muslims thought it was and Facebook adding banks for IPO sources. Okay, if it's getting close to Wednesday, Facebook is doing its IPO. The problem <laughs> is, is that they can't figure out how to make it work on mobile. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is, we can guarantee you from first-hand knowledge that social media is not a good media to advertise on because there is no cross-platforming in social media. Mm -hmm. And Yelp soars the market debut on Facebook optimism. I don't understand the Yelp thing because I've seen the Yelp thing. I've seen that there basically there's more complaints against Yelp than you can throw a stick at because here's the trick is if you sign on with Yelp you generally don't get complaints. Mm -hmm. That means it's a phony organization. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I've heard it not just from our side but from companies that Yelp um, that have, have had um, People make comments on their companies. Yeah. Yeah. So they said, well, we didn't subscribe to their service, and so now they're getting pounded on because they didn't subscribe. So it's uh, yeah. it did like five hundred million dollars on their uh, IPO, which actually is really bad. That's not a good opening shot period for an internet for an online thing. And Mexico City to retire last iconic VW Bug taxis. That's ridiculous. I mean, why is it? Okay, here it works. If it works. Don't get rid of it. So what they're going to do is like that, you know. Well, the cable cars work, so let's get rid of the cable cars and put them in with gas-powered cars, which basically can pollute the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. And meaning-based therapy may aid terminal patients. Okay, it just basically it's another means of spending money, 
And first of all, I can guarantee you that the president doesn't give a damn about a terminal patient or senior citizens because they've got a, they do have, read the health care thing, they do have a death council, folks. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. If all you can do is speak ill about those around you, you must be a politician.